Hi guys, Andrew here with Headphones.com. You may have noticed some changes to this channel with some of the recent videos that we've put out. First, there's the addition of DMS as one of our reviewers, but we'll talk about that later. You may have noticed that the thumbnails and titles for our videos are getting a bit more aggressive. Let's talk about that. Now, of course, we wanna grow the channel. The problem is we haven't really been keeping up with the best practices when it comes to visibility and we only have ourselves to blame for that. I don't mean to say that everyone should only listen to us or that our opinions are always right. You should get information from more than just one source. But for basically the entire existence of this channel, we've been putting all of our effort and attention into evaluations. And if you're familiar with us, you know that a lot of what we talk about can get deep into the weeds on various topics. It's often highly technical or deeply rooted in the audiophile world. And to be honest, this probably isn't of interest to a general audience. And we've been doing this for the most part at the cost of accessibility. We haven't really put much effort into making thumbnails or coming up with titles that resonate with a wider audience. It's always been like, you know, the most generic like product X, you know, review and then a random little quip or, you know, thought about that, that video. Uh, and that might be the kind of thing that works for me personally, and maybe it also works for you, but it puts us at a bit of a disadvantage when you consider that everyone else is doing way more to play the algorithm game than we are. And to be honest, the reason we haven't been doing that up until now is that we're not experts at YouTube. We're not good at playing the algorithm game, and we're not going to be well versed in the various different best practices and tactics for increasing viewership or subscriber count. You know, you don't see me typically doing that kind of stuff. And that's because those things are just of such little interest to me that I'd rather listen to those, you know, purple unicorn cat ear headphones, you know, for an extended period of time than bother to give a shit about any of that stuff. But that seems to be what works, right? You know, I've always cared way more about what's contained actually within the evaluations and that it's correct than, you know, making sure that, you know, everybody sees it. And let me assure you that that part is not going to change. It's just that I at least want what we're saying here to be given the best chance of reaching people who might find it useful or helpful. Those people who really are interested in some of this stuff and maybe didn't know about us or what we're doing. You know, the fundamental goal of this channel is to provide tangible information that helps people better understand things. If you walk away from one of our videos with a better understanding of a product or a certain topic, maybe you've learned something about measurements, maybe you've learned about EQ or just any of the stuff that we talk about, then I'd say we've done something right. And when I look around at various communities and forums, I see a lot of question marks. Not everybody has the opportunity to listen to everything that they might want to hear. Um, or the stuff that we've had a chance to listen to. Or, you know, maybe they don't have time to read through the various different audio research papers on a topic that they might be interested in. And that's really where I think we can help. And the fact that there are so many question marks still about this stuff shows that we've still got a lot of work to do. And it's now a matter of reaching those people or reaching more people who might find some of what we do here useful. So we've brought in DMS, who is much better at this stuff than we are. We've brought him in to help us kind of get up to speed with what we should have been doing for a long time now, but haven't been. And of course, we've also brought him on board because he's just one of the most passionate people about this hobby. That dude spends basically all of his time doing headphone and audio related stuff. Like even in his, you know, time when he's not making videos, he's just, you know, working on audio stuff. And even though, you know, we, he and I might not always agree on things, um, you know, what matters more is that I have every confidence that he takes this stuff as seriously as I do and that he cares deeply about it. And to that end, this is also a channel that includes a number of reviewers, so more than just one reviewer. And, you know, we're bound to have different opinions from one another. And I think actually that probably makes it more difficult to grow an audience if there are just different reviewers so you don't necessarily know what to expect. But I think it would also be good to sort of de-silo the headphone information space. You should get your information from more than one source, as I mentioned earlier, or just at least consider what, you know, alternative opinions might be. But that's sort of like a long-term project that, you know, one video like this one isn't really gonna make much of a dent in. But I'd like to think that at the very least that kind of makes us a little bit different. Hopefully over time, this is something that, you know, more and more people will start to realize is a good idea. In any case, um, the stuff that's changing for the sake of accessibility is all just surface level. So if you've been with us for a while, the stuff that you've come to know us for is all the same. You'll still get the generally upbeat and accessible evaluations from Chrono, the dense and critical reviews from Precog Vision, and of course the generally dry and overly technical explanations from me. And now with the addition of the much more well-produced videos from DMS as well. We enjoy that juicy B-roll and slick editing too. And let me just say that when it comes to accessibility and some of the new stuff that we're doing, we're not necessarily gonna get it right all the time or at least not right away. You know, if it were up to me, all thumbnails for everybody would just be like gray text on a black background. So it's a good thing that it's not up to me. <laughs> um, but uh, no, I, I think it's actually good that we're exploring more stylistically interesting options or stylistically diverse options for this kind of stuff. And I'll just ask you guys to bear with us as we learn how to do this YouTube thing a little bit better. Anyways, that does it for this video. Thanks for taking the time to watch it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.